Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nadine and if you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber who have stuck by me, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Um, so in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about the pros and cons for working a day shift and a night shift and giving you guys my honest opinion and my experience in working both days and nights. So I currently have a rotor that is designed for me to work both days and nights which I prefer so I have weeks where I do day shifts and I have weeks where I do night shifts and it works perfectly for me and I'll be giving you guys my experience and the reasons why I prefer it to be that way rather than doing strictly nights or strictly days so without me going on for days let me get into this video okay so let me start by saying all the pros for working a night shift and this all goes hand in hand with day shifts and day shift pros and cons so what is a pro for a day shift could be a negative for a night shift so they go hand in hand so i'll start by explaining the pros for working a night shift and then i'll explain the pros for working a day shift so my night shifts start from 8 and they finish at 8 30 so 8 p.m till 8 30 a.m so pro number one is that there's less traffic or less people um, on the shift or in the hospital when you start your night shift so from 8 p.m when i arrive at work there's less traffic there's less people so there's no managers there's no family members because visiting hours um is over by 8 p.m so that they're all going home when i arrive there's you know less managers less matrons there's less staff members there's so many people that go home um at night or eight o'clock and then there's less traffic or less people less staff members in the hospital so there's not a lot going on there's less people that are in your face or in your way there's just a lot less traffic when you are on a night shift so the con for a day shift is that there's more people or more traffic during the day so you have your family members you have your managers you have other staff members that work you know the day shift all the time um, you have doctors, consultants and things like that that only come in during the day. So on a day shift, you have more people around and more traffic, whereas on the night shift, there's less people around. So the second one that goes with that is that it's a lot quieter on a night shift than it is on a day shift. So because there's less traffic, less people going in and out of the hospital, it's a lot quieter on a night shift whereas on a day shift it's a lot busier because there's a lot more people there's a lot going on around the hospital or on the wards or in the clinics whereas on a night shift it's quieter i'm not saying it's always quiet but it's quieter and there's less going on because there's less people and there's less traffic in the hospital so the next pro of working a night shift is that because it's quieter because there's less people around you have a lot more time for yourself and you have a lot more time to learn or do individual learning for example you have because it's quieter and there's not a lot going on and there's not a lot of people around when it's not busy and when it's quiet you get to sit down read your book read your notes prepare for assignments if you're a student and things like that so there's a better opportunity available for you to kind of learn things to ask questions to ask people to show you how things are done and you are able to find the time to actually take the time to sit read learn ask questions see how things are done and things like that whereas on a day shift because it's more busier there's a lot more people you have less time to kind of ask questions there are less opportunities I'm not saying there's none but there are less opportunities for you to have time for yourself to sit down read something learn something write something and to ask questions and to ask people to teach you things because it's a lot busier there's a lot going on you have family members around you have loads of staff around and there's just a lot more happening on the day shift so the pro for the night shift is that you have more time for yourself you can do things like read you can do things like plan you can ask questions you can ask people to teach you things people will be more available to assist you in your learning and if you have like a midwife in charge you can ask her to teach you a few things because it's a lot quieter there's a lot less traffic and you can you know have that time to actually learn something Thing on your shift so the next pro of working a night shift is that there's less of a heavy workload so what I mean by 
that is everyone's gone home the family members have gone home the managers have gone home everyone is asleep most of the patients are asleep there's less things to be done and the workload is a lot less for example when I work on the postnatal ward for example on a night shift we don't discharge um, women um, during the night we only discharge them during the day so if anyone has to go home they can't go home on a night shift therefore we don't do their paperwork we don't do the discharge talks we don't do anything in regards to discharging them so all we're doing is making sure that they're well during the night making sure that they have their medication making sure that if they have any questions or if they have any problems we help them with but there's a lot less to do there's a lot less workload during the night and also with the workload during the day patients may have appointments going to a scan maybe you have to take them over to a scan or they have other appointments in other departments in the hospital but during the night everything is closed they're not doing scans they're not doing um, appointments during the day during the night so you basically won't be doing all those extra things that you'll be doing during the day because during the night the scan department is closed and it's only open for emergency purposes and the women that you're looking after are mainly asleep or trying to sleep and getting their babies to sleep waiting for the day to start the next day so there's less things happening so the next pro of working a night shift for me this one's a big one so during the day when I'm doing a day shift it starts at 8 in the morning till 8 p.m. by the time I finish my shifts all the shops are shut I can't go to the post office I can't go to the shop I literally go straight home and prepare for my shift the next day if I'm on a shift the next day so the benefit of working a night shift is that when you leave your shift at 8 in the morning the shops will be open at 9 a.m. or at 10 a.m. and you can literally go to the shops do some errands go to the post office go to the restaurants and things like that there's more to do or you're able to do a lot more after a a night shift than you are after a day shift so on a night shift after you finish your shift you go home and on your way home if you need to pick something up from the post office if you need to go to the shops if you need to go buy groceries if you need to run errands you're able to do that because you're finishing your shift in the morning and that's when all the shops are now opened and you can literally go and do what you need to do you're able to go and you know pick up the things that you needed to pick up and things like that whereas on a day shift because you're finishing at 8 p.m by the time you leave work and make your way home the shops will be closed there's not a lot going on apart from restaurants and things like that but you can't go to the post office you can't go to the shops because they close normally they close around five six so by the time you finish work all the shops will be closed so that is another you know positive or pro for working a night shift you're able to do those things after your shifts because you leave work in the morning and you're able to go about your business and do errands and things like that so the next pro of working a night shift is that people that work a night shift uh, are paid a little bit more because you are working unsociable hours or it's called unsocial hours or something like that so because you're working unsociable hours you get paid a lot more or well not a lot more like a little bit more than anyone else working a day shift so that's a very big kind of plus definitely a very big plus for working um, a night shift you get paid more why wouldn't you want to be paid more so yeah you get paid more because less people want to do night shifts so it's a good incentive for people to actually go and do night shifts so yeah you get paid more why wouldn't you want to be paid more for doing the same job someone else in the day would do but obviously it's less quiet and things like the shift pattern kind of changes but yeah because you're working unsociable hours you're working during the night when you're supposed to sleep so basically they give you a little bit more in terms of pay just to kind of um, entice people to do night shifts and they acknowledge that you're working unsociable hours so they pay you a little bit more than people that be working a day shift so the next pro of working a night shift for me is that when I'm on my way to work in the evening so around 7 p.m. there's less people getting on the train compared to people that are going to work in the morning so in the morning when I'm going to my day shift I'm met with everyone else in the world that is going to work whereas on the night shift shift 
there's literally less people around there's less traffic there's you know less people on the trains less people on the bus and it just makes life a lot easier and less stressful especially when there's cancellations buses are driving past you because the bus is too packed or things like that and you're having to stand on the train for the for your whole journey because there's no seat for me it's a plus going to work in the evening because there's less traffic less people on the streets less people on the buses and trains and it's just a smoother journey for me to go to work so that is a plus for me so another pro for working night shifts is that during the night there's less meetings and things like that happening during the night so if you are a person that doesn't like meetings doesn't like things that happen outside of your work schedule then night shifts are for you there's less meetings because the managers are gone the supervisors are gone people that run the hospitals are all at home sleeping so there's no meetings there's nothing that you have to attend no mandatory training training as well during the night so you don't have to kind of leave your shift and go to the you know classroom or the lecture room of the hospital and do some educational sessions during the night and things like that so there's less of that happening during the night there's less meetings there's less things that you have to attend if your manager wants you to do things because the managers are at home they're sleeping so there's less of that happening during the night so the next pro for working a night shift is that there's less procedures happening at night time so what I mean by that is for example when I work on the antenatal ward we don't have any scheduled inductions of labor women coming in for their appointments so every woman that is being induced and has an appointment to be induced at a particular day they come into the hospital during the day so at night time we only take women that are being induced for emergency purposes or they come in through triage and we have to induce them but they are no for example set schedules or set appointments of women coming in so we are seeing less women walking into the antenatal ward for their inductions and things like that so during the night on the antenatal ward we only deal with emergency situations or women that have come from triage or from home and they need to be induced for like any other reason for example their waters have broken they've gone past the 24 hour mark and they need to be induced and get ready to go into labor but on a night shift we don't have any woman coming in for their appointments to be induced they only come in during the day so there are less procedures happening during the night it's basically more emergency procedures rather than appointments or scheduled uh, procedures that are happening during the night all the scheduled appointments and all the things that need to happen are all happening during the day and during the night we only take emergency appointments or emergency clients or patients that come in and that they need to be induced and things like that so that is definitely a plus for working a night shift so another pro for working a night shift is that because there is less traffic less you know people around there's not a lot happening you are able to give your patient more of your time so you are able to stay a lot longer with your patient you're able to ask more questions you're able to provide that quality time with your patients so during the day it's hectic there's a lot going on there's people coming in and out of the hospitals managers around they're asking you to go to this meeting that meeting you're asked to go to this training session that training session and there's just a lot going on but during the night you're able to go to the bedside of your patient talk to them and ask them questions have them ask you question you're able to provide that quality time for your patient because there's less going on it's a lot quieter there's not a lot of traffic there's not a lot of people interfering um, so yeah you're able to provide that quality time for your patients compared to during the day so the last and final pro for working a night shift is that for me i have seen that there's better teamwork during the night i'm not saying that there's no teamwork during the day but i'm just saying that there's an improved or better teamwork during the night only because there's less of us there's less things going on so when you know things get heavy or things get busy on a night shift 
we kind of just help each other and we kind of just you know offer our assistance if things are happening and they're getting on top of me people are like do you need help with this because obviously they might not be busy they might not have a lot of things going on with their patients so they offer their assistance and we kind of like help each other out on a night on a night shift whereas on a day shift because it's hectic because there's a lot going on if you kind of want an assistance of, of course you can you know get assistance if there's you know something that you need but because everyone is busy and there's a lot going on they are more hesitant to kind of help you but they will i'm not saying this that you won't get any help at all but you know the teamwork during the night is a lot better because there's less staff on the ward there's not a lot of traffic and people want to help each other out and get things done because maybe they have less things going on whereas you know on a day shift you could be you know up to here with all the tasks you need to do and all the places you need to go and yeah there's just less people you know offering their assistance because obviously everyone's in the same boat they're all busy they all have like a million things to do you know the patient's family are asking a question the manager's asking you questions everyone's asking you questions so there's a lot you know less that they can do to offer the support because obviously it's a lot busier but during the night teamwork is great because we all kind of stick together help help each other out um but yeah so that's the last Afino pro for night shifts so let's move on to the pros for day shift so for day shift the first pro that i can say is that a day shift is your normal kind of sleeping pattern for life so our bodies are made to sleep during the night and be awake during the day so the day shift goes with your normal sleep pattern and what you are programmed to do which is sleep at night and be up during the day so that is the first and obvious pro for working day shifts um, your body won't be thrown off because of the mad changes and the mad sleeping patterns that your body has to do when it comes to working night shifts it just goes with how your body is programmed you are made to wake up in the morning and work during the day and then you'll go home and sleep during the night. So that is the first pro for working a day shift. So another pro for working a day shift is that the shops, the restaurants, the you know the food areas in the hospital are open during the day. So if you're someone that like me that forgets their lunch or doesn't have time to prepare lunch, I can literally go to the shops, I can go to the restaurant and have some food for my lunch and things like that so that is a big like plus a big pro for working a day shift is that the shops within the hospital and in the hospital grounds are open and the restaurants are also open so if i ever need anything to eat if i've forgotten my lunch at home or anything like that i can literally pop to the shops or go to the hospital restaurant and get myself some food to eat so on a night shift you will really struggle because all the shops and all the restaurants are closed so that is one advantage to a day shift and that is a very big disadvantage to night shift is that all the shops will be closed during the night and the restaurants will be closed during the night obviously some hospitals have you know some 24-hour service restaurants my hospital doesn't so when i don't have food i am won't be eating anything um but yeah a day shift you have you know all the shops available to you and you can grab some drinks or food during your shift so another benefit or pro for working a day shift is that you have more learning opportunities on a day shift compared to a night shift. What I mean by more learning opportunity is that in my hospital, we have like, you know, CTG sessions where consultants and doctors hold learning um, sessions where they teach midwives on how to recognize a good and bad CTG and things like that. So those learning opportunities, those classes, those sessions, all happen during the day so if you're at, on a night shift you will miss those learning opportunities or those learning sessions or teaching sessions because you're at home sleeping preparing for your night shift whereas if you're on a day shift and you have that flexibility and you have that time to go to those sessions and go to those teaching sessions you can go to those teaching sessions and you can you know build up on your knowledge and your skills so there's more learning or teaching opportunities when working a day shift because everyone is is around the doctors are able to hold these sessions during the day because when they finish their shift during the day they go home and no one we really, no one ever holds teaching sessions at night because everyone is at home and there's less traffic and there's less people so that is another benefit or pro for working a day shift 
So another benefit for working a day shift is that um, when you go home and it's time for bed, you won't have any interruptions or people waking you up during the night. So you finish your shift during the day, you go home at 8 p.m. and then you start getting yourself ready for bed. Once you're in bed, there is no interruptions. There's no one trying to get you up because if you live like with other people, with your family members, with your partner and things like that, then you know, they will all be asleep as well. No one will be up. Everyone else will be asleep because that's how their normal work life schedule works. So when you go home from a day shift, you won't have any interruptions in terms of sleep. Whereas if you are coming from a night shift and you are trying to go home and sleep, you may have, in, you know, interruptions and things going on during the day because your family members, obviously, they're all up and about because they slept last night while you was at work. So they might be keeping you up or doing things. The postman is ringing the doorbell because he's trying to deliver a parcel and you have to wake up and get the parcel or there's people popping into your house and there's just a lot going on. So that is a very big disadvantage of people working night shifts. It's just that sleeping with people in your house that are doing you know regular nine to five Monday to Friday jobs they will be up and about in the house and keeping you up and awake whereas on a day shift you go home you sleep your regular night and no interruptions there's no postman ringing your doorbell trying to deliver something and things like that so another benefit of working a day shift is that there are more gatherings more um, you know staff get togethers and things like that during the day so for example in my hospital they tend to hold like functions and parties if someone's leaving or if they're celebrating something everything happens during the day so for example if they're throwing a anniversary party of the hospital or of the maternity department they will host that and throw that during the day and if I'm at home sleeping preparing for my night shift I will miss that celebration or that party or if they have like a Christmas party if they have you know an Easter party something like that it all happens during the day so when I go on a night shift or the party or the celebration or the gatherings or the get-togethers of all the stuff I have missed because obviously everyone's gone home they're not going to throw those kind of stuff during the night obviously you have the opportunity for the night staff team to organize something special like for Christmas then they organize something small during the night but the main gatherings the main parties or events or things that happen in the hospital they happen during you know during the day if staff members are going out for lunch and they're all sitting around together all of those things will happen during the day because there's a lot more people around there's, you know they're able to do all those things during the day so if you're a night shift person you kind of miss all of those excitements all of those gatherings because they're not planning those things at night, you know, because there's less people around. They're not going to be doing the noise and everything when you know patients are trying to sleep and things like that. So that is one advantage of working a day shift. So let me go to the cons for day and night. So let me start by saying the cons for night shifts. So the biggest con for the night shift um, is that obviously you're going against your body and how your body is programmed to be so your body is programmed to sleep during the night and be up you know during the day so doing a night shift you're going against that um you're telling your body to stay awake during the night and go to sleep during the day and some people find this transition very very hard so when they go home from a night shift they find it hard to sleep because their body is just not used to it and it takes them some time to actually get into that program or get into that mindset of okay body you need to sleep during the day and then we need to be up during the night so that is a very big disadvantage or big con for working a night shift is that you're going against what your body is naturally programmed to do so another disadvantage or another con for working a night shift is that you can be quite sleepy and quite tired on a night shift so this goes hand in hand with the first point that i just mentioned was that you're going against your body what your body is programmed to do so when you are on a night shift because your body is not programmed to be up during the night you can be quite tired quite sleepy during your shift and also on your way home when you're leaving the hospital 
better to go home so when you're driving you need to be careful because your body could be tired you could be sleepy um, and then once you get home you find it hard to then go to sleep but for me I don't find it hard to go to sleep once I go home and it's time for me to sleep during the day I can sleep like I don't find it hard at all I'm very lucky in that sense but there's some people that are tired through the night once once they get home they're wide awake and they struggle to then go to sleep but for me thankfully I can literally go home from my night shift and sleep and literally just have an amazing sleep um, but yeah one disadvantage is you can be tired on your shift you can be sleepy on your shift and on your way home and then once you get home you're wide awake and you just can't sleep so the next disadvantage or the next con for working a night shift is that you can develop health issues or health illnesses due to the fact that you're always working a night shift or that you're constantly keeping your body awake during the night health issues such as diabetes sleeping disorder heart disease strokes and things like that so you're more acceptable to um, health problems or health illnesses because obviously you're doing against what your body is programmed to do you're staying awake during the night so you're putting yourself at risk for developing health illnesses such as those that I've mentioned so that is one of the major and biggest reasons why I don't do strict night shifts I like to mix and do both because obviously I don't want to have long-term health health issues or long, like side effects from doing night shifts so that is why I personally choose to do days and nights and I don't don't do strictly nights um yeah only because i like my health i want to be healthy i want to be strong and i don't want anything to affect me because of money because of work i would rather just do both nights and days and just be done with it because i enjoy you know nights and days and i see the benefits of both and i just take it all in rather than just sticking to one that's just how i personally um and that's how I personally do my night shifts and day shifts. So another con for night shift is that because it's so quiet, there's less people around, there's less things happening, it can be quite boring, it can be quite slow, there's, you know, you're, you're now having to stay up and you're sleepy and it's also quiet and boring and there's not a lot going on. So you can find yourself, you know, sitting there for hours or couple of minutes you know having nothing to do you've done your documentation or your patients are asleep and it's like okay so what do I do now kind of thing so yeah night shifts can get quite boring because it's quite slow um, you find yourself just on your phone and then you're having eye problems because you're constantly on your phone and things like that so that is a one disadvantage but I'm not saying that all night shifts are slow and boring by the way because night shifts are hectic and they can be quite hectic depending on the department depending on the day depending on the season and things like that. So you can have really fast paced and really busy night shifts, but majority of night shifts are slow. There's less going There's less going on, there's less people around. So it can get quite boring, quite slow, and you're having to kind of keep yourself awake and keep yourself entertained and keep yourself busy because you don't wanna, you know, crash and sleep and things like that. So another disadvantage for working a night shift, for me, in my opinion, is that it's kind of an inconvenience at times so for example you go to your day shift and you start at 8 and you finish at 8 p.m and then after 8 p.m if you have like a dinner to go to your friends are going out your friends are linking up you can then go home change and then meet your friends but on a night shift it's inconvenient for you because obviously everyone's going out at night or they're going to weddings and things like that and you're having to go to work when everyone else is like going out seeing friends going to a party going to a wedding and you're going to work and doing a night shift while everyone is out um, and this is why I hate working like nights during the weekend because it's like the weekend that's when everyone is like doing things but I don't mind during you know during the weekday because everyone is you know working getting ready for work and things like that so you can do your night shift but on a saturday or a friday night it's like oh you're at work everyone else is out enjoying living their best lives and then you are doing a night shift and you're just missing out on life so that is another disadvantage for working a night shift so the last and final con for 
working a night shift is that on your days off when you finish your night shift basically the rest of that day on your day off you're spent sleeping trying to regulate your sleeping pattern and trying to fix your sleeping pattern so your sleeping pattern is literally thrown out the window it's adjusted differently and on your day off you're trying to get your sleeping pattern back so you're sleeping most of that day off because you're tired you're exhausted your body's doing something it's not supposed to do so most of that day off is spent sleeping and you're trying to kind of regulate your body to kind of get back into the normal sleeping pattern and trying to follow the rest of the world so that is one big disadvantage of um doing night shift is that the rest of your day off you are spending it trying to catch up on sleep because you're tired and you're just trying to get your body clock and your sleeping time back in order so that is the last disadvantage of working a night shift so before i finish this video let me talk to you guys about some of the disadvantages the cons for working a day shift i've already said a few previously but let me just add on um, a few that i haven't mentioned so one disadvantage of working a day shift is that because you know day night shift is less busy and there's less people around so the opposite will happen on day shift there's more people around there's a lot going on so day shifts are fast paced more busier there's a lot of things happening so that is a very big disadvantage of working a day shift which also means that you have less time to spend with your patients because it's a lot more busy it's a lot more fast paced you don't have that you know second or two to kind of sit with your patient talk to them see how they're really feeling and do and also do other things such as your documentations and things like that everything is more fast paced so you have to rush even how you write your notes even how you talk to your patients how you you do things it's a lot fast paced obviously there are times on a day shift where it's quiet there's not a lot going on but generally speaking because there's more people around there's more procedures happening there's a lot more going on the day shifts are more fast paced and there's a lot more happening so the last and final disadvantage for working a day shift is that when you are on your way to work in the morning there's more traffic there's more people on the bus there's more people on the train there's a lot more going on finding parking is a problem for those that drive to work you know they have to do all kinds of maneuvers go down roads and rows and rows to find parking and walk all the way up so there's just a lot more traffic and a lot more going on in terms of the public they're trying to get to work you're trying to get to work so it's just hectic in the morning when you're trying to get to work so that is the the last and final disadvantage of working a day shift and I hope I have explained both points very well and you guys you know have a small idea or you know a glimpse of what days and nights are like and disadvantages and advantages for both I hope this video was useful to you guys I hope you've managed to learn something from this or gain some sort of insight in terms of working day shifts and night shifts if you haven't done them already um, but yeah comment below let me know how you feel about days and nights which one you prefer and why um, and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you like more of these content and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye